Secret number four, master lead generation conversion. Oh yes. my goodness, this has been a career journey for me personally, Ugh. figuring out how to master lead gen and conversion. And I have to tell you, we are there on our team and in the way we coach this now. Mm -hmm. Now, I already, already mentioned this, but just I'm going to do it again. That's how important it is. You have to have online presence and reviews for you and all your team members. Team profiles for your Zillow and Realtor.com is powerful. And why? Because if we're going to do online lead generation, and these are people that even if for people that you do know, if you get a referral from someone who knows you, they're still going to Google you. So already talked about that. Let's move on to the four pillars, David. Yeah. Uh, so Jan, I want to back up. So Matt, uh, yesterday in conversation, Matt brought up the fact that we need to uh, teach to fish not give them fish, right? Yes. And so so it, it also goes back to what we talked about previously, which is uh, having your house in order before you bring people on your team. So, so having your four pillars, this is one of the things that Jan and I coach. It's the four pillars of real estate. And I believe it, it, it holds up, it stands the test of time, right? So we use four pillars because it's, uh, it's, it's, it's symbolic, right? It, uh, you need four pillars or else the roof's going to cave in, right? So the four pillars that we talk about, and I believe database should absolutely be the first pillar because it, it is the core value of your business. Without a database, your business doesn't exist. Might as well not even go past that until you have that in order. Of course, we believe in a social media and some sort of an online presence to which Jan has been talking about. And then also farming, farming, old school farming. That could be geographic. Um, it could be um, demographic. It could be niches. There's a lot of ways to farm. That's essentially your lead generation. And then, of course, I believe that you need a legit, solid networking campaign in place. In other words, you're involved in networking groups uh, and you do them regularly, You know, it, whether it be monthly or, or bi-monthly or whatever. You know in your calendar that we're going to do this many networking events this year, so on and so forth. That's a specific campaign, right? So that would be database, social media, farming, and networking. And then of course, lead capture, right? If you lead generate and you don't have a capture system in place <laughs> where you can capture those leads, why would you lead generate? So lead capture is super important. And then of course, we have to put them somewhere and nurture them. Make sure that we're staying in touch with them. We have to we have to have a conversion platform. You know, Jan, you use KV Core, uh, Sync, KW Command, top producer, all of those things that we know that we need to nurture our people. And essentially, Jan, what we what do we want to do? We want to take them from an actual contact to a real lead that's ready to convert. So that requires the whole nurture process. Absolutely. And you've got to choose a solution if you're team building that is team friendly because Everything you're doing for yourself, Ooh. you've got to be able to have your agents plug into it. Good, so good call, Jan. On this. That's a good call, Jan. Mm -hmm. All right. A couple last points on lead gen and conversion. Let me tell you, I have tried every variation of lead generation from inside sales agents personally. I've done this personally with the companies that I've worked with to solve this issue. I have, and we can show you ways to be successful with an inside sales agent. But I'm going to tell you what it comes down to for me. It's hiring the right agent who is willing to do the follow-up. So on my team, we're leveraging the power of KB Core by Inside Real Estate. My team uh, leader, my co-team leader and I have built out all the systems for the agents to follow. So the technology is doing the heavy lifting. We're using video. We're using text. We're using email. Yep. We built that for them. This is all our agent needs to do. Call four to six times. We generate leads on our team. We know we can show you how to do the same thing. And it does it, but I'm going to tell you, if you do not have what we're talking about, David and I are talking, then don't spend any more money on Zillow or, you know, realtor.com or any other place. If you do not have an effective way to convert, it's wasted money. You might as well just burn the money today. So we know how to do this. We're Jan, I want to add to that. The new agents I coach or we coach, uh, they always want to jump right into, I want to do open houses or I want to do this or yeah. I want to do this. And, and so my answer is always, yeah, that's great. However, do you have your core systems, your database in place? To your point, Jan, if you don't have those core systems in place, you don't have a place to put those leads, 
then you might as well, it's a waste of time. You might as well never lead generate unless you have a place to put them and a way to nurture them. But the value proposition on our team right now is 100%. We show you how to use the four pillars, get uh-huh. more business from your own database because they're not, they haven't been doing that up to this point. And we also do lead generation online. Now, the last piece to mastering the lead gen and conversion part is accountability, uh-huh. accountability and tracking systems. And I want to share the power tip that I got from David that I'm using with my team right now that is incredibly successful. And we are doing weekly Zoom, two mandatory Zoom accountability meetings where we jump in as a group, including me. I have a million phone calls to make too. We all do. And we don't do it because we find a million excuses not to do it. This one thing could shift your business. Just unbelievable. It's like a mastermind group. So we get on Zoom. We talk about our goals for a minute. We might role play. We mute and we go. And as a matter of fact, yesterday we I, yesterday we just did this. Cosmo, my co-team leader, grabbed somebody that was needing some help, listened to the calls, gave some feedback, and they got appointments from this. Um, I made calls and made appointments and reconnected with people from my own database, as an example. Mm-hmm. This right here, if you if you get anything from what we're talking about today, get some accountability around making phone calls and con- reconnecting with your database and, and, and have something around your leads and you're going to have some success. And Jan, I want to add something that, you know, lead generation sounds like a dirty word, doesn't it? Right. Let's 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 be honest. Right. Does lead generation sound fun to you, Jan? (laughs) No, no. Well, it's better than prospecting. I don't like the word prospecting. It's prospecting lead generation. It sucks. We don't want to do it. However, it doesn't have to suck. Right. Lead generation. You know, Jan, one of the things we coach is we can. The better we build our core systems, the less lead generation we have to do. Correct. All we have to do is just call our people and say, what's up? Right. And so honestly, that's it right there, David. It is just, it's not, see, it's a mindset thing, right? Half of what sure. we do is maybe three quarters of what we do is mindset. When, when I'm making calls, when I'm helping people make calls, we're just talking about, I'm going to connect with another human being and I'm going to see if they want my services. And if they don't next and it's not it's a, it's not prospecting it's not lead generation it's not scary it's making connections to so that we can show show value and connect and jan right. it, it's it's not it's calling people that know us that love us the more systems we have the more core systems we have the easier it gets it's just like i said a simple hey jan what's up how you been exactly just did it okay.